how to use Feedly as a beginner. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Feedly, how you can use Feedly to get all the insights about your important websites, blogs, Twitter and newsletters. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is simply go to Feedly.com and you will get to this website right here. This is the official website and here we can get started. So, in order to sign up, you will go to this get started option and the signing up process is really easy and it's completely free. You can sign up with Google, Apple, Twitter, Windows or you can sign up with your email address. Add your first name, last name, password, click I am not a robot and you're good to go. So once you create your own account on Feedly, you will get your own dashboard. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Feedly, this is where you will get. And now let me show you how we use Feedly and how we can get our feeds, how we can get all the updated blogs and information, everything we need to know. Now we have this today section on Feedly and it gives us our feed. Just like we have on Twitter, we have on Instagram, we have me and in me, I will be able to check all the feeds that I follow. And then we have the explore section as well. So in explore again, I will be able to get all the feeds and all of the articles and blogs that are trending in different niches. So I can explore more in the explore section given here. From explorer, if I like an article, if I like an account, I can just follow them. That's how it works right here. And I can add them to my, my feeds. With Feedly, we stay updated and we get information and articles on all the updated information. Anything happening in any niche. We can get articles and blogs from here. You don't need to go to Google every time and search for articles and search for new research. And now we have today's section and explore. Again, we have today, here, read later and manage. Earlier, this is our robo that we get here. Then we have feeds and in feeds, I will be able to check all the feeds that I personally follow. And then we have different niches that I can create. What I can do is I can follow websites, Twitter, Reddit and newsletters from this option. Click right here and it will take you to all the websites, Twitter, Reddit and newsletters. Let's go to the website section first. In website, I can go to all of these different niches and categories. So first of all, we have featured in featured. We have tech, cybersecurity, marketing and business. If I scroll down, we have industries. In industries, I'll be able to check all the industries such as automotive, energy, industries, retail, medical devices, food and healthcare. Then we have different trends and in trends, we have trends such as cryptocurrency, mixed reality, internet of things, machine learning. Then we have skills. In skills, I can follow different skills and different categories such as SEO, writing, creativity, photography, data science, content marketing. And then we also have the fun section for comics, gaming, food, music, culture, crafts, and travel. Let's go and follow comics. So I will go to hashtag comics and now I will be able to check all of the comic accounts here available on Feedly and I will be able to get my new posts right here in my feed. Let's go ahead and follow this account right here. Click on follow and now I can also add them to my different folders that I have created. We can manage our Feedly and create different folders that I have. For example, I have medical, education uh, related folder, photography and technology. Now let's create another folder known as fun. So to create a brand new folder, you can create three folders with the free version. If you want to create more and follow more accounts, unlimited accounts, then you can go with the upgraded version. There is a free account and you can explore more with free. You get a lot of different options. Just in case if you want to buy an upgrade, let me show you the pricing plan. So here we have a pro plan, which is $6 per month. And then there is a pro plus, which is 8.25 per month and enterprise that you can request. The pricing plan is quite reasonable and you can just sign up for any of the plans and upgrade anytime. And now we know that we can go to this section right here. Let's go back. We checked out websites. Similarly, I can go to Twitter and I can add my Twitter right here and I will be able to follow through Feedly. Then we have Reddit and newsletters. So we can connect our Reddit newsletters and our Twitter anytime we want to. Again, you just select any of the niches. For example, if I go with cryptocurrency, it will open up as a cryptocurrency for me. 
and then I can just follow different accounts and different folders that I like. You just click on follow and you follow them. All these are different feeds that I follow. I follow these accounts. I have eight accounts and I can now check out different articles from here. Let's go with this one. You just click on it and you will be able to read it. Once you are reading something on Feedly, you can go ahead and mark it as read later. I can just select this one and then we can add and save it to a board. We also have save to Evernote option. So Evernote integration is available. We can copy the link to the clipboard and share it on other platforms. We can share to Buffer via email, LinkedIn, Twitter, WordPress, and we have more options as well, Pocket and Facebook. If I want to add this article to my WordPress website, I can just go to this option right here and it will open up my WordPress for me and I will be able to add different articles and blocks from Feedly to my WordPress. So that's how it simply works. Similarly, we will be able to find our red letter here. You can see this is the article that I just added to my data. Red letter and once it's done, you can click on mark it as read and it will be gone from here. Again, if I want to add an article, I can click on this article section, search for a URL, and I will be able to search for any article. Similarly, we have a newsletter option, and I can create a newsletter with my different articles from here, different blogs. Similarly, I can add different team members too. I can also get different views. Right now, I have selected the magazine view. I can go with title only. Similarly, we have article view in which it will show me different articles. So we can just explore different views in Feedly. We have the power search here, switch to themes, and I can just go to a dark theme as well. I personally prefer a dark theme. Then we have new features. And then we have our profile here in feed settings. I can hide different feeds and I can unfollow any of the feeds I like. You can see these are my feeds that I follow and now I can just go ahead and select and manage them the way I want to. You can also go ahead and import your OPML if you like. You can share your, your feed with others, view, and we have different feeds. If any feed is unreachable, you can just delete it. So I'm just going to delete this one and remove it from my feed. Again, I'm going to delete this one as well, the two of the feeds I'm removing. Perfect, from my medical section, and now I can just follow more as well, anytime I want to. I'll just go to this section here or I can just search for medical related and it will give me thousands of different options and I can just click on follow, select the folder, click on add and it will be added. There you go. So that's how simple it is to add a feed to your Feedly and then explore more. Let's go back to our today's feed. Let's read a few of the articles, get more information, What's happening around the world? What are the different researchers? And what are your favorite business tycoons? And what are your favorite scientists doing? You can just add them right here. I'm going to select and add it to read later. This is really interesting. Similarly, I can explore more and share it on my LinkedIn and Twitter anytime I want to using Feedly. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was uh, a big help to you. And now you know how to use Feedly to get your articles and blogs really easily. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.